Is anybody really surprised that cops are stealing people's money at an airport or several airports around the nation? I mean, cops will pull people over on the highway and take their money or take their money in any other uh, case, especially if they can claim civil asset for overture. And then you basically have no way of getting your money back. Listen to this one. Fly with cash and law enforcement could take it without ever having to prove you did something wrong. We were talking about this in the commercial break. It's happening regularly at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. Channel 2 consumer investigator Justin Gray is here now. So, Justin, it could be a long and expensive process, you found out, to get that money back, even if it's legitimately yours. And, George, that's the wildest part of this whole thing. Not only are law enforcement agencies like DA seizing people's money at Hartsfield-Jackson without a warrant, they're keeping it. So, cops are allowed to steal people's money, yet we're supposed to think or act like these people are upholding laws? How can you be stealing uh, money, which is a crime, and then claim to be a person that enforces the law? Jr. was flying from Atlanta to L.A. to shoot a music video. I had about $8,500 on me. Jerry Johnson was heading to Phoenix with the cash to buy a truck at auction. It was $39,500. Both men left the airport with their cash gone, seized by law enforcement. It's nothing different than being robbed. Somebody come up with your gun and take your money and then walk off. This is a picture at D. Yeah, it is theft, no matter who you are or what uh outfit you're wearing this is just blatant th and if it was uh any regular citizen they would be going to jail for stealing people's stuff but because it's a cop they don't have to follow the laws DEA agent snapped a Brian Moore. That's him in the green hair at the gate at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport heading to Los Angeles. They announced we were about to start boarding and I was approached by um, two women. Moore says they asked if he was carrying guns or drugs. He wasn't. They asked about cash, which he did have. I've never been in a situation to where I was being treated as a terrorist or a criminal. Moore says he... Yeah, it, uh, when cops are seeking to take money from people, they will ask if you have a large amount of cash. They will then confiscate it and claim as either uh, he, they will suspect you of it being used for drugs or some other crime. Because, hey, how are they supposed to know if you got it from a bank or whatever? It's just some BS that they like to say in order to steal people's money. Uh, there was like three police department in Tennessee that was caught doing uh, a bunch of civil asset forfeiture of people coming from out of state. They would ask them for uh, if they have any money, they would take it and claim that the person using it for drugs. Explained to the DA agents the money was his to pay for his music video from the sale of his grandfather's car he inherited. They put my money in a big Ziploc bag and they told me I was free to go. They were like, you might want to leave or you're going to miss your flight. This is Moore's money in the Ziploc. DEA kept the money, but never mentioned anything about a crime. Nobody ever charged you with a crime. I was never charged. You were never convicted like of a crime. Never convicted of a crime. But they took your money. They took my money. And did not give it back. Did not give it back. It happens every day at airports all across the country, including right here in Atlanta. They don't want to prosecute the person they just want their money. Dan Alban is an attorney at the Institute for Justice. He fought in courts for years to get open records data from Homeland Security on seizures. That data shows that here at Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson, just one agency, Customs and Border Protection, sees more than $108 million in cash from travelers between 2000 and 2016. These... Wow, $108 million that they stole from people. That is wild uh so I may be surprised by this fact but uh civil asset forfeiture amounts to more money than the amount of like shoplifting 
and uh, organized uh, shoplifting combined. It's a lot of money that cops end up stealing nationwide from people. Law enforcement agencies get to keep the money that they seize, and they view these seizures as a source of revenue. Jerry Johnson says he never heard from law enforcement again after they walked off with his $39,000 in cash. Nobody ever contacted me. Nobody asked me any questions. I, I never heard nothing from them after they seized my money. That's typical according to the government's own studies. A 2017 DOJ Inspector General review looked at a sample of 100 DEA seizures and found only 44 of those advanced or were even related to a criminal investigation. The same year, a Treasury Inspector General review found 91% of the money seized in cases it looked at was from a legal source. People should be free to travel with their own money. Brian Moore sued to get his money back. It took two years, and he won the case, but legal fees ate up most of his money by the time it was finally over. After about an almost two-year process, I got back a little under $3,000. The DEA refused our requests for an interview or even to provide written comment, directing us instead to a page on their website that says DEA, quote, uses forfeiture to attack the financial structure of drug trafficking and money laundering groups worldwide. But Brian Moore is a military... It's funny how that's their claim. When the DEA is known for trafficking in a lot of drugs into the United States. Very veteran and musician. Nobody ever provided any evidence claiming he was trafficking money or drugs. I thought I would at least find out what I did wrong. And, you know, to this day, I still haven't found out what was suspicious about me or what I did that was suspicious. And Moore is now suing the federal government again to try to get his legal fees paid for for all of this. Jerry Johnson also sued and eventually did.